This is the DW 5600 from G-Shock. It dates back to 1983 and it's one of the most iconic watches ever made. But very few people know how this watch actually came about. So here's a quick history lesson. Presenting the G-Shock watch from Casio. This rather simple looking watch came about at a time where a shock resistant watch was something that barely existed. Watches were still considered as fragile items, which were deemed perfectly acceptable to break if dropped. That's exactly what happened to Casio engineer Kikuo Ibe in 1981, when he dropped his watch, a present from his parents, whilst running for a train. This inspired him to create an unbreakable watch, one that could withstand not only being dropped, but dropped from the height of a three-story building. Casio. It took over 200 different prototypes, but by the summer of 1983, G-Shock was born. Boasting eBay's triple 10 concept, the watch featured 10 meter drop resistance, 10 bar water resistance, and a 10 year battery life. This revolutionary watch was an instant hit and changed the face of the watch world as we know it. Casio, watches that do more than keep time. The 5600 instantly became the watch of choice for the military, emergency services, sportsmen and builders. The watch quickly developed a cult following within the fashion industry and still to this day remains an icon of retro functional design. In 2017, Japan proved again how strong the 5600 actually was by running a 24 ton lorry over one and gaining a world record in a process for the heaviest vehicle to drive over a watch. As the years went on, the 5600 changed with the times, with various different specifications that reflected each era, such as the colourful watches of the 90s, as well as the enhanced specifications at the turn of the millennium. Despite being nearly 40 years old, the 5600 has stayed largely the same, until now. This is the new 5600, but not as you may remember it. Casio call it the GMW B5000, and whilst it may look familiar, this is actually one of the most advanced watches G-Shock has ever made. First things first, you'll notice the standard rug rise strap has gone. In its place, a practically indestructible stainless steel bracelet. Each link is actually individually pressed and polished to get these different finishes. The bracelet features various throwbacks to the original 5600. There's even punched holes towards the lugs. The star of the show, of course, is the iconic case design taken directly from the original 5600. This watch's design is clearly a love letter to the tank-like functional structure that became so popular in the 80s. The original 5600 had some alarms and a stopwatch, and that was about it. But that was still quite good for the time. However, even though this new watch does take its design cues from the 80s, all of the technology is firmly from the 21st century. Technology such as built-in Bluetooth connectivity that links the timepiece to a mobile phone, allowing every single feature of the watch to be set and customized to the user's very own specification. World time is accessed at the touch of a button, which allows you to set your location via an interactive map. There's even a built-in phone finder, which allows you to find your phone, even if it's on silent. The usual toolbox of features come as standard, including five daily alarms, a countdown timer, as well as a super bright LED, which will automatically come on at the turn of your wrist in a dark environment. Now, you may think all those features will be quite a drain on a battery, and you'd be right, which is why the B5000 is entirely solar powered, powered by any light source, artificial or natural. 
as with all G-Shock watches, the watch is also 200 meters water resistant, so it's perfectly suitable for swimming, snorkeling, and non-professional diving. So the watch with its new refined edge is sleek, but also very smart. But this is a G-Shock watch, so just how tough is it? To find out, we've decided to do a little test. Now, in 2017, Casio Japan drove a 24-ton lorry over one of these, a standard rubberized 5600. They gained a world record in the process for the heaviest vehicle to drive over a watch. And today, we're going to do the same thing, but with something a little bit bigger. This is the DAF XF480. It is capable of carrying 44 tons, has 14 tires, six axles, and two beverage cup holders. And today, it's going to drive over this GMW B5000. Now, first of all, Eric, our driver here, is going to weigh the vehicle on a weigh bridge. Right, the vehicle is confirmed to be 34 tons. That is 10 tons heavier than the original world record attempt. Right, it's now time to move the truck into position. We're going to take the spring bar out of the bracelet so the watch lies flat on the floor. The cameras are fixed. It's time to put the watch into position. Now the reason this test is so significant is the original test only ran over the watch with three tyres and a 24 tonne lorry. Okay, we're now coming up to the sixth tyre. Now, Guinness World Records stipulate the watch has to still work in order for it to pass the test. And we're almost there. Let's take a quick look. That is incredible. Would you look at that? Still working absolutely fine. Now, there are some dents and some knocks, which is to be expected after being run over by a 34-ton lorry, but it's incredible. So, there we are, the humble 5600 has come a long way since 1983, but I'm very happy to say it still remains as smart, functional and strong as ever before.